my faith has been restored. I had this guy, his name was Shaw. Okay, so I just went to therapy and I have to say, my faith has been restored. I had this guy, his name was Shaw, and he was fucking amazing. He was amazing, he did so much for me. She even propositioned him. I did, I said, can I take you home with me? <laughs> He's like, I don't think my wife will like that. I'm like, come on. I was like, your hands are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like he was I can't hold it with this I'm, hand. What I'm was okay I thinking? <laughs> um I was telling him that I've I've been, been experiencing nothing but numbness in my right hand. I drop things. I even doing my exercises at at physical therapy today. I was having trouble like I was struggling um because the bands I didn't feel like I was holding them properly because my my hands are numb. My my fingers are numb. And so he came over and he like told me to do it like this and then um, we were talking and he definitely suggests that I go see my uh, neurosurgeon again um, because he 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 said he believes that I'm probably having uh, issues back in my neck and then he explained to me why when my surgery occurred in 15 why my ther my therapist why my surgeon could not do because my surgeon said that there were issues above and below where he was going um, doing the surgery but he explained to me he's like yeah he there was no way he could have done all of that because it would have limited a lot of my mobility um and so other stuff. and other things like motor skills and things like that and i'm like oh we don't want that we don't want that but he definitely suggests that i go see him um and you know he was just really good and he was trying to relieve like he was doing like some pressure points in the back of my neck where i had to like lay face down and i mean he was pushing hard and it it hurt yep. it hurt but it didn't it wasn't like a pain it was just like a pressure pain if that makes sense i don't know but he was just trying to it was a good hurt yeah possibly like unpinch a nerve that is going on in there but my hands are still numb my hand is still numb so he told me i'm gonna be extremely extremely sore he told me to take something tylenol whatever arlo told me to take advil i took it when i got in he said, use your heating pad tonight because I tell him that I use my heating pad a lot. Um, but he said I'm going to be sore tonight and tomorrow a lot. But I, I have him again on Friday and I'm so excited. And I think when I go in on Friday, I'm going to see what days he works and see if I can just see him because he's amazing. The girl Nicole was really good too, but this isn't her home base and so I'll never see her again. Unless she's filling in for somebody, which what are the odds, you know? But I like him. I like him so anyway it was a good session and truthfully I didn't want to leave and that shows it was good because I can't wait to get the fuck out of there to be honest with you anyway Arlo's going to therapy therapy she's dropping me at Walmart I'm gonna mosey around and um, I'll see you when I get back in the car later all right we're back Jack let me show you what we got I got Samantha fruit roll-ups and some uh, fruit snacks she asked for these. I'm gonna make the kids some cheese fries tonight. Um, actually, I, probably gonna be for all of us, let's be real. Uh, so, you know, canned cheese. I'm gonna make them some chicken fries. We have a big thing of cabbage for St. Patty's Day. I'm gonna make some corned beef as well. I got two, two things of chicken breasts, these big things, because we had no chicken breasts in the house. I was fucking pissed the other day. So we got that. Some low sodium um, rice aroni, some croutons there, a thing of corn. I'm gonna make these chicken wings tonight. So we're gonna have chicken wings. Hold on, let me do that. Anyway, we're gonna have some chicken wings and these are like real wings, not pigeon wings, you know? Uh, I got this again, cause this was really good last time I got it, the Barilla Plus Protein um, Chickpea Pasta. It's very good. So I got that, I got two of these. Oh, the other one's over there. So two heads of iceberg lettuce. They were only $1.62, which 
ShopRite, which is a supermarket over here, $2.99. They must be out of their fucking mind. Um, I got four bunches of Italian parsley. I think this is Italian or flat leaf. One of the two. No, this is Italian. Italian parsley for the guinea pigs. Um, Arlo's making something with these limes. We'll show you later. Uh, spring mix. Some green peppers. There's the other iceberg. I got the kids just some rigatoni. Some more romaine. Two of those. So, you know, six. And then I found this. This is $14.82. It's like a big hunk of corned beef. Because it's just me and Arlo that eats corned beef. Nobody else likes that shit. And so, we just want to have it for St. Patty's Day. I'm not trying to have like 50,000 pounds of leftovers. So, it comes with corned beef. You get a half a head of cabbage. But we like a lot of cabbage, so that's why I bought the other uh, head of cabbage. You get some potatoes and some carrots and then the little packet in here, like the little seasoning packet that you're supposed to put with it. Yeah, I'm going to throw that all in the crock pot. And we'll have that on St. Patty's Day because, you know, I am half Irish. So, and that's it. That That's our haul. Dinner tonight. I made homemade mashed potatoes, just a little bit. Corn. And then those bear nuggets from Costco because I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. That is dinner. Simple. Happy Wednesday. It's, um, I don't know, 12 something? Oh, one something, 114. Uh, I did that. I, um, <clears throat> yesterday when I went to therapy, uh, like he did a lot of working on my neck, so I didn't needed it because I've been hurting. But I've been, I told him that my hand was numb and, you know, I told you guys in the car. But, um, like, it's just feeling number and number every day. And I feel like it's getting harder to, like, eat with a fork or a spoon or anything that I have to hold in my hand. I don't feel like I'm holding it good enough or, like, I don't have a good enough grip, if that makes any sense. Um, also, I feel very uncomfortable like picking things up with this hand and I've been dropping things so I'm just kind of taking the day to just kind of babysit or baby I'm gonna baby my arm and my hand and just lay around on my heating pad but Arlo made a drink last night and we're trying it out right now it's um it's like a Spanish or Brazilian a Mexican Oh, it's a Brazilian... Well, there's no lemons in it. It's like a limeade. I know, but they call it a Brazilian lemonade. They're calling it a lemonade, but there isn't any lemons in it, but it is made with limes. Look it up on TikTok. Look it up on TikTok. Of course, that's where she got the idea from. But, um, so it's sweetened condensed milk. We're not actually using sweetened condensed milk. We made, like, a sugar-free version. You can also look that up. But it's made with coconut milk. I feel like that would go nice together. Um, so it's like a sugar-free uh, condensed milk instead of the one in the can. And then limeade, like she made. So this is what it looks like. It's like a frosty. And I've seen people um, blend it. I look horrible. I have a reason why I look like this. I look this. horrible. I'm off. Um, I need it sweeter. Take two. This is our honest opinions. I know, but... This is take two. Again, we didn't use regular sweetened condensed milk. Right, take two. Bitch, where's yours? Why I am I drinking it, it you're alone? The, you're the oh, one then you can have some of this. You can have some of this one. Shit. <laughs> I don't like that rind in the back. It's better than the first sip, but it's not doing it for me. Why do you come up with these ideas? <laughs> Why does Samantha eat ice cream with a fruit roll-up? No. No! I feel like I'm licking the outside of the lime. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, it's, they tell you to put the rind and to put the everything in, right? You chop it up, you put the rind and the actual inside of the lime. But then you're going to strain it. But I'm tasting nothing but rind. And it is probably because we're not having it with actual sweetened condensed milk. That probably covers and masks the flavor of it. <laughs> it's a fucking...
fucking pass for me. Save the sweet and condensed milk you made, because that's delicious. But it's that lime in the rind. It's a no. There is no lime in the coconut. Take three. So this is the sugar-free, sweet and condensed milk that Arlo made with coconut milk and I don't know, other stuff. Like Sweetener. sweeteners, like monk fruit and stuff. So I'm going to taste this. I know this is good, but I'm going to taste it. This is fucking delicious. I can probably drink an entire <laughs> cup of this over ice. Oh, you can put it in uh, your espresso. This is freaking good. Leave some for me, bitch. Yeah, have some. No. Oh. Anyway, can you just make more of this? I can. Can we? Ooh, that would be good as an ice cream. Ooh, you know what that reminds me of? What am I going to do now? When I was younger, we used to have this coconut ice cream that we would get from the store. It was on a stick. It was bomb. You can make like a coconut ice. It's like an ice, like a coconut ice. I don't know the fucking name of it, but it was bomb. Does anybody know the name of it? Does anybody grew up in like New York uh, that they know what I'm talking about? Thank you. Come on. Oh, that's so good. We could totally make like a dessert out of that. All right, so we threw the lime away. It was disgusting. Now I'm filming you. You don't like it, do you? You don't like it, do you? Hello. This is dinner. I have lemon pepper wings. Arlo has garlic parm. I mean, they're very garlicky. I think I might have added too much garlic. Oh, she added her broccoli to it. <laughs> this is bonza pasta. It's protein pasta. It's made out of chickpeas. Um, and then we, we have a salsa water. So it's wings, broccoli, and bonza. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I look like a founding father. I can't do anything about that. My hair. It's taking forever to grow. Hence why I look like a fucking founding father. <sighs> strong, we need strong. Strong, strong, strong. One, two, three, right? Uh, all right, use three of those. Back, back on. It smells so good. All right, and then we're gonna do one, two, three and a half pumps. I just put my skinny syrup. I use the caramel, and we're gonna brew. We are gonna brew. So I do an extra large. Hold on extra large cup uh, rich and it'll be brewing now yeah we'll wait on that one 